We, I don't feel that smart today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, what's going on on the screen up there and to have NASA actually working with the kids out here right now about what's actually happening up in the heavens uh, is really incredible. And of course, can't say enough thanks to the Spurs, to Frost Bank, to UTSA, uh, to my colleague, Councilwoman Adriana Rocha Garcia, who has really uh, conceived this idea of making it a STEM playground for kids. Uh, it's really a wonderful opportunity, it's slow to show collaboration in our community as well. You know, you think back to the early days of like the manned space missions, and at Brooks Air Force Base, they did a lot of the, the physiological testing for the astronauts there. Now we have Southwest Research. Maybe yeah. something else can come along. Because Southwest Research obviously sends up you know, missions into space all the time. Yeah. What else can we do here? Well, Southwest Research is uh, a very underrated aspect of space exploration and the, and the satellites that are being launched every single week in this world are a lot to do with the research that's happening at Southwest Research and the fact that they plug in globally with a lot of different entities that are, are working on making this safe. So. Uh, the, the, the story here for young people pursuing a career is also you don't have to leave San Antonio yeah, really to right be here. a leader in uh, the space industry. Of course, you know what's going on in South Texas with SpaceX, privatization, commercialization of space travel, uh, space exploration. Uh, there's incredible need for policy making with regard to the number of satellites that are now up there and are, are ability to keep it safe and, and habitable uh, in the future. So uh, the, it's really limitless in terms of where this can lead uh, for young people who are out here today. Yeah, between San Antonio and Houston, it's really, pardon the pun, like the hub, right? Well, and also, what a great way to showcase The Rock, yeah. uh, this oh, yeah. is a human performance institute and training facility. Yeah. This is really meant to be a public place of convening. You see that jumbo tower in the background? Tell me there's not a better place to watch, to watch a road game for the well, San Antonio yeah. Spurs. I, I can envision many, many celebrations in the years to come out here. Oh, and I was, you know, I was talking to some folks and they said, oh, you're going to be at the Rocket La Cantera. I haven't even been there yet. Yeah. Check it out for me. Well, we are. We are right now. So there you go. As you were talking, I don't know if you heard, but I, was, I had one ear back there and they're talking about, it. so every star explodes and becomes a supernova. And I'm looking back and how many kids are sitting there and just, just wrapped with attention. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and to think, this is they're not in class right now. Right. They're actually in outdoor class, but, they're uh, but they are absolutely absorbing yeah. this. This is this is going to be something they remember for the rest of their lives. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Get rid of these darn clouds. <laughs> well, I'm okay, so I'm a afraid. meteorologist. You're a mayor. Come on. Well, I, I, I believe in the power of prayer. <laughs> and, and so I have been praying very hard that uh, the experience is, is magnificent. Um, you know, maybe we could get a break in the clouds. Uh, but even still, uh, the what's going to happen here in terms of the darkness? And, yeah. I mean, you've been saying it all week, Mike. It's going to be spiritual. Yeah. experience. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. Well, and that's why people chase them all over the world, you know, is for that experience, you know? Well, well back in October, I was out in Uvalde, and, you know, at the last minute, the clouds parted and looking up there, and like you said, and I, I say that to people, and I said, not to sound, you know, too over the top, but yes, it was almost like a religious experience looking at that. It's like, that's, you know, way beyond what we have any power over, and, and when the heavens come together like that, it's always oh, amazing. How insignificant our worries and cares are when you think about the fact that the moon is literally going to trend, uh, pass in front of the sun and block out all the light on Earth for a moment in time, and you know that's that's something that that just we have, like you said, we have nothing to do with it. Yeah, yeah. 